welcome back to this beautiful earth. Hello, I'm Gail Kimball. I'm the author of 20 books, including Essential Energy Tools, How to Develop Your Clairvoyant and Healing Abilities. And I do that kind of work as well as research it. I interviewed 65 visionary scientists to find out what's real, what, what underlies all of this material world. And what I found is that the dominant materialist worldview is totally inadequate because what actually underlies everything is consciousness or spirit. The quantum physicists of the 20th century opened the door to this understanding that the universe is all interconnected, information flows throughout the universe, it's called non-locality, and they also taught us that our measurement or our thoughts affect matter. And the consequences of this new understanding, actually it's very old, but new in our era, is that we have access to information, power, guidance from beyond our five senses. It's, it's really very expansive in terms of our human abilities. So I invite you to watch the videos with the scientists on my YouTube channel and to read the trilogy. And the three books in the trilogy are The Mysteries of Reality, The Mysteries of Healing, and The Mysteries of Knowledge Beyond Our Senses. And now here are a few excerpts from the interviews with the visionary scientists. Um, I was really interested that you had a patient who had a frozen hand that was he, a problem most of his life and after his NDE it, it opened up and was functional. Yeah. Any wild ideas about why? No, no, again, we, we don't know. And at the time, I, when I was interviewing him, I didn't realize that the significance of that. It was only when I discussed it with the physiotherapist and the doctors, and they said that, you know, his hand, those tendons in his hand would be in a permanently contracted position. So he shouldn't be able to open out his hand without surgery to release those tendons. And he just clearly just went, look at my hand, I can do that. <laughs> so, and I've got a signed statement by his sister who says he's never been able to open it out. It's only since his experience. But again, if we understood the mechanism behind that, that could potentially save healthcare millions and millions of pounds and dollars. So, you know, I, I'd love to understand why. So I think these things are so important to research further. You know what that makes me think of is people who have disassociative identity disorder. One alter will have diabetes and the other not. So it's it's similar phenomena. Yeah, that's right. It is. And yeah, that, that's a really great analogy. And in fact, I can remember someone emailing me when my book, The Wisdom of Near-Death Experiences, came out. And he made the connection with pe people with um dissociative identity disorder, also having changes in their electromagnetic field. It is about the transformation in humanity when the veil comes down. And just like we can now take for granted that we can fly around the world and now fly into space, we will eventually take for granted that there is no veil separating us. And it's just like traveling to a distant land. Just like you, you're in California, right? Right. And I'm here in Tucson. And I just touched your nose. You know, I heard literally this kind of communication. We're in quite a different place, um, but you're still you. Um, well, they are just in a different place. And when we recognize that, virtually every aspect of human society uh, will, will go through various degrees of change, um, if not transformation, as this unfolds.